Okay, morning guys, um, or afternoon. So today we're going to talk about the voyages of exploration. This is a new topic that we're starting. And basically what the voyages of exploration are, are attempts made by, we're gonna focus on Spain and Portugal. So attempts made by Spain and Portugal to find new trade routes. Okay, so we're gonna look at um, why these things happened and what the results were. So the reason why kings and monarchy decided to support these voyages of exploration around the world were to improve their wealth, to get raw materials like gold, metal, spices, and so on. They want to spread Christianity and they want to find a new route to the Spice Islands, which is where the Philippines are now, to eliminate any sort of Muslim control of the spice trade. So um, the first explorer is an Italian explorer called Marco Polo. And he was responsible for establishing the Silk Road. Okay, so the Silk Road went from all the way from Europe to China. And voyagers and explorers would travel along the Silk Road um, across, and if you look at that map there, across all of those countries, it would take such a long time. But along that route, they would have to pay a toll or a tax to Muslim tribes that lived along the route. So as the Europeans traveled from Europe to China to get their spices, which they needed to preserve food, they had to pay tolls or taxes to the Muslim tribes that lived along the Silk Road. And this was starting to annoy the Europeans. So they wanted to find an alternative route to the Spice Islands and to the Spice trade. So the Muslim tribes could not control it anymore. So they decided that the best way to get to the Spice Islands was to sail. So they developed a new ship called the Caravel. Okay, and there's lots of features to the Caravel. So the um, square sail would help the um, ship to sail faster. And um, the Latin sail would help it sail against the wind. The rudder helped it steer in um, shallow waters. And the clinker built hull made it a lot more durable when, um, if they were in stormy seas. Okay, so the Caravel is the new ship. And this is the ship that we're gonna be talking about when we go um, and look at the voyages of Vasco da Gama, Bartholomew Diaz, and of course, Christopher Columbus.